Hello everybody, welcome to this week's update video. My name is Martin, I'm an Inkscape developer developing features and fixes for everyday Inkscape users. Welcome to these weekly videos where I walk through some of the pro programming and some of the development that I've managed to do this week. Um, first of all, the last time I sp spoke to you was before the Inkscape 1.3 version was released. And I have to say, I'm very, very happy. Um, you guys have told, told me and some of the video cre creators have told, told me and the press have said how good of a release this is. Um, it's so great to have such positive feedback and there are some s small issues, things with like the shape builder, um, some wild reports of cra crashes that we're still trying to get a ha handle on, uh, especially when those crashes don't produce crash reports. Um, so keep your issues c coming in when, when you find them. But um, I'm so relieved that we've managed to get a release out the door that's actually pretty solid, I would say. And um, the one thing I have no noticed, though, and I think this is funny, and you may not no no notice this unless you make like lots of releases. When we made version 1.0 of Inkscape, there was a lot of press activity. Basically, Inkscape was in the register and you know loads of different pl place places. And then when we made 1.1 and 1.2, we also got quite a lot of press. Most of this was to, to do with sort of like how surprised people were that Inkscape was like better than just like an average open source thing and that we were actually trying to achieve some like material gains and try to make Inkscape an actual productive work tool. Um, this also, it, it also helped that like with the Adobe news that Inkscape could be used as a comparison. But this, this year, most of the activity has actually been from people who use Inkscape. Uh, the actual press has been very, very quiet, um, you know, compared to other releases. We'll see if it's still as quiet next year when we do the CMYK stuff. I think that's going to be pretty big, big news too. Um, but really, the goal is to make sure that users are happy. And I'm so glad that you guys are. Um, okay, so what's been happening? Um, I, I had to take a couple of weeks off for a bereavement. So I apologize for not creating updates. I did actually try and create a few updates, but the quality just wasn't there. I just wasn't fe feeling it. Um, so I've decided to just skip a week, uh, two weeks in fact, and then um, actually gives my poll time to work. So I've created a poll for my Patreon supporters. And uh, this gives me the opportunity actually to thank all of the people that sponsor my work on Patreon and through LibrePay. Um, thank you all so, so, so much. Uh, I cannot stress how important it is to have funded development that comes from users directly so you guys can tell me what to do in Inkscape. Uh, and this is a perfect example of that. So I created a poll so that you guys can tell me what to focus on for the 1.4 release. And um, just like last year when I cre created a poll, the goal is to be able to work on these I items amongst other things. Uh, last year's poll um, basically wanted me to work on uh, the the, the multi-page work, like to develop those features some more. Um, it was about 35% of the poll. Uh, the Shape Builder, 10% of the poll. Uh, CMYK Research, 30% of the poll. And Connectors, 13%. And Spyro, 8%. And another 4% who wanted other things. Um, to report back to you, to keep things tra trans transparent, um, it looks as if I spent about 25% of my time on multi-page, uh, about 30% of my time on the Shape Builder, um, about 5% on CMYK Research, 1% on Connectors, and like a lot of the other things that you saw in my update videos. Um, so what I'm seeing there is that I spent a lot more time on the Shape Builder tool than I had, than you guys asked me to, uh, but hopefully you'll forgive that and understand that I wanted to make sure that this functionality was as complete as possible. Uh, but I do want to try and stick to the um, what what the goal of the of the community wants to be. So this year's poll is about sixty percent of respondents wanted CMYK, right, which is good. I, I did it as a multi-select this, this, this year so that you guys can actually check off more, multiple things. Um, about 35% of people want me to work on the connectors tool, which is the next thing down. Uh, about 25% of people want, want, want me to help with the GTK4 
uh, work and about 25 people had 25% of people had other things on their minds um, just to go through some of those other things um, exporters laid P PDF that's likely to actually be included in the CMYK PDF stuff uh, the goal there is to rewrite the whole PDF exporter which includes a lot of that functionality um, multiple P P people wanted the ability to organize their multi-page work and grids and stuff that has been on my list for a while so sorry about that um, people want dynamic content on their page pages things like page num numbers um, some people wanted customizable tool toolbars. Um, multiple people want, want wanted uh, maths um, widgets inside of all of the spin buttons. That's basically a bug. Uh, now there is a feature for putting text on objects, and I've been actually ta talking with a few designers about how we might be able to make it so that it's just easier to like add text to a rectangle or add text to uh, to create notes and things on objects. Um, stay tuned to see if we manage to get a design put together for, for that. Um, speed, speed, and more speed, which is always good. Um, a triangle shape, which is an interesting one. It's basically the star shape, if you see it, but with three points. And uh, tabbed win windows, which was actually a uh, Google Summer of Code pro project that failed. Um, okay, so the plan is we're going to be working on the CMYK branch you know what it's it's called cmyk but because that's what a lot of users um tag it as but it's it's really not cmyk it's 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 pdf um you know all of the functionality for doing uh both x3 x4 x5 pdf sub um, standards so that you could send a printout with an icc pro profile a color correction pro profile for a specific device cmyk output uh, plus bleeds, plus margins, plus uh, layers, plus optional con content groups, plus like all of the other functionality that you might want in a P PDF, um, and that involves that does involve rewriting uh, or writing from scratch a new PDF exporter. Um, I'm currently working with the Capy P PDF li library uh, to see how well it f functions in terms of what we need it to do, um, and then it's going to be a slow roll to essentially add in all of the functionality. So, for example it's going to be possible to do paths pretty easily uh, text will take more work uh, gradients and patterns will be even more work on top of that and then you get to weird stuff like masking and blend modes and then there's bad stuff like fil filters which can't be represented in pdf at all and have to be converted into raster images have to support uh, cmyk raster images to make sure that image data isn't badly converted when you do raster images etc 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 so there's a lot there's a lot of pieces uh, that need to go into place and you'll probably find that I'll post a link to alphas like very very early alphas when I have something to show and you can export stuff um, what I need you to do if you can and I really need more spons sponsors because I can see the time like the schedule and um, it's not enough hours really to be able to do all of the work that I can see. Um, so if you know people who are on the fence about like whether Inkscape will work for them for their print stuff, let them know that uh, the CMYK PDF stuff is a project that's happening now and it needs their help. Um, the more people we can get to help, the more time I'll be able to spend on it and the more likely I am to finish it for 1.4. Um, okay, so that's enough rambling from, from the work that I've been up to. Um, Inkscape has been continuing to, to do its own work. This is stuff that I am involved with, but other um, volunteers and people in Inkscape have been working on. Uh, my cob has actually been working on the color palettes and being able to open multiple versions and different types of color palettes. For example, the Adobe color palettes, including supporting things like Lab and CMYK and stuff in the actual palettes and swatches. Uh, that's going to fit really nicely into the work that I'm doing with the PDF stuff. Um, PBS has been continuing his work of just trying to help the shape builder, trying to help lib2gm, trying to help with speed improvements, reviewing code for GTK4. Uh, our, our GTK4 developer has been committing a ton of stuff, and um, we haven't flipped over yet, but when we do, like we can see breaks already happening. Um, Tab has also been work, working on the G, GTK4 stuff. And um, yeah, that's 
that's about it. Okay, so I will let you know how things are progressing next week. Thank you all for bearing with, with me on, on this long video. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a very good week.